Father, to you, be all the honor. To you, Lord, be all the glory. To you, Lord, be all the honor and adoration forevermore. Father, to you, Lord, be all the worship. To you, Lord, be all the honor. To you, O, oh, be all the glory and adoration forevermore. I've got joy like a river, joy like a river, joy like a river in my soul. I've got joy like a river, joy like a river. Joy like a river in my soul. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. I know his name. I know his name, his name is wonderful, I know his name, do you? I know his name, I know, I know his name, his name is comforter, I know his name, I know, I know his name, do you? I know his name, his name is Prince of Peace, I know his name. One manner of man is Jesus, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Yes, Papa, God joined my river. Go tell it on the mountains, over the hills, and everywhere the wonders that God has done. Yes, Papa, I'm ready, super, super ready. I wrote it in that book in 20. 20 that i am ready and yes no turning back no turning back no turning back i have decided to serve my jesus i have decided to serve my jesus i have decided to serve my jesus no turning back, no turning back, no turning back, no turning back. I don't know me about you, but me, no turning back, no turning back. Put my hand on the plow, no looking back. I don't want to turn into a pillar of salt meal, and I want to do this joyfully. And frankly speaking, there's so much reason. Hey, yeah, uh, what the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. So the least I can do is serve my Lord with gladness and with singing. My heart is singing, singing, singing. Hallelujah, singing, singing, singing. My heart is dancing, dancing, dancing. Hallelujah, dancing, dancing. Dancing, ooh, my heart is jumping, 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 hallelujah, jumping, jumping, jumping. Yes, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh, and so all of all what I feel in me, that's what I'm talking about, that's what I'm singing about, and if my heart is like that, Okay, well, there was a little interruption of the uh, internet, but we thank God is back. And um, yeah, I'm closer to, uh, I hope, a source, right? So, Father God, I just want to thank you today. 
Thank you, Papa, for choosing me to serve you in this way. It's such an honor, Papa, and I'm forever grateful and humbled. Hey, Papa, I used to dilly dally. Oh, no, me, oh, Papa. Hey, oh, Papa. Thank God you were patient with me. And you forgave me and you continue to use me. And I know I'm not the only one. And so I just pray for all your servants all over the world, Papa, that they may do this joyfully, full of singing. You deserve it, Papa. Our hallelujah should belong to you. How can we be giving hallelujah to the world and the things of the world and that bastard for what? All the headache and heartaches? No, Papa. Hey, my hallelujah belongs to you, oh, Papa. I just pray this morning that it is felt more and more in me, even just in looking at me, that I belong to you, Papa, that I'm saving you and saving you unapologetically. Uh, Papa, that my service of you might inspire, motivate, and encourage so many other servants and many other people to come to you and to talk about the goodness in their lives, Papa, to surrender to you. Oh, my goodness. Father, it is so beautiful. I cannot tell it all, Papa. You just begin to encounter people in that special, unique way that you did for me, Papa. I thank you so much for everyone. I pray, I pray, I pray. I pray for my children. I pray for my parents, my sisters. I pray for my family. I pray for my friends. I pray for all those you asked me to pray for. Hey, Papa, I pray for my, my spiritual family, oh, my church victory house. I pray for my pastor, Pastor Harrieta. I pray for my bishop, Bishop Barry. I just pray for everyone, Papa especially those serving you. It is such a beautiful thing, Papa. Father, receive all the glory. Holy Spirit, continue to blow in my life, blow in the lives of all the servants. Blow, 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 blow. Let's not keep quiet in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, I hope everyone is doing fine. So, um, morning devotion. <laughs> morning devotion. I kept my devotional far because... Um, I just finished doing it and then and all of that. Okay. So, yes, using Faith Checkbook by Charles Spurgeon. Okay. So, today is the 9th of January. And what do we have for the 9th of January? This beautiful um, Psalm, Psalm 100. Psalm 100. So, he's just looking at verse 2, right? Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with singing and all of that. You know, oh my goodness. In short, delight in divine service is a sign of acceptance with God. You cannot do this grudgingly. Now, you cannot do this sad. You cannot. I, when I began it, I, I wasn't so sure I should be doing it. So, I didn't really want to. So, I, I would just be posting things there. And then after, I would just show up anyhow, you know, and just stop. I was happy later on to do it, but I wasn't bothered about my countenance that much. I used to say, no, it's just the message you are getting. And then gradually, you know, God is so good. He's patient. And then he, he shocks you in some kind of ways that you yourself think about. And you're like, yeah, Papa, it makes sense. Okay, Papa. Okay. So gradually, he, he worked on me to the point where now it's like, no, 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 no. I have to show very presentable for my father's business. And I have to, you know, in short... Even when there's anything going on in my life, right, I just give it to him and then I continue my service. So, those who serve God with a sad countenance because they are doing what is unpleasant to them are not serving him at all. You are serving yourself. <laughs> they bring a form of respect, but their life does not show it in reality. So, what's the point? What's the point if your life doesn't show it? You say you're serving God, you're frowning, you know. I, I have heard and I've once also seen a servant of God shout at people and look so angry, not just that day, but for some days. And I'm like, ah, so how do you want us who are still just coming to Christ and all? How do you want us to feel and, 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 and behave and, you know, re relate with you? Yeah, we are humans, yes, but hey, I pray, oh. I, I thank my God for the pastor and the bishop that I have and, and the leaders that I have. You, you see it. And even when you don't see it now, you, you, are you, are, you are quick to pray because you know that this is something that needs prayer and it shall come to pass. And they are just so vulnerable, so open, so everything. Not like eh, every day is like that, 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 that. Hey, yeah. Uh... 
Our God does not require any slaves to grace his throne. No, he is the Lord of the empire of love. And you know me, he gave me my identity and freedom and love. Freedom in him, man, not freedom in the world. Not freedom to do whatever. No, freedom to serve my God with all my heart and all my soul and all my everything. You know, and not to lean on my own understanding. That kind of freedom, freedom to make the choice. I have decided to serve my Jesus. Yes, that freedom. And to be steadfast, to be consistent, to be committed, to be... No, me, I, I don't have no explanation to give to anybody. I hey, know that 43, getting to 44 soon. What explanation? <laughs> <laughs> it's sometimes such a good thing to get to this ripe age where it's like no 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 you're your own person whether i'm living well i'm not living well i am my own person like god i don't decide to save my god i can still do all the other things i'm doing because he approves of them but saving him is my priority that's why in all the things i do now you will still turn around turn around and see god in all of those things and, and my life is lovely like that. I love it like that. No, I'm not chasing what the world thinks I should be chasing. And uh, to do what? Let them chase it. So I don't want to be a slave to the world. Yes. And God does not require any slaves to grace his throne. So if you are, I, I say some people, uh, you know, they're servants of God, but they're talking too much about money, prosperity, success. That, to the point where, and then they say, talk about their own success and all the, and all the investment and all. I'm like, are you a slave to those things? And you're not coming to mislead people who genuinely just want to, you know, know God and have this intimate relationship with Him and serve Him. And they seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all those other things to be added unto them. It might be good to talk about those things, no, there's no doubt, but not in that kind of fanatic way. It's like, Okay, now we just have to get into serious, serious prayers for that. What are those uh, financial gurus and motivational speakers and all of that for? I'm also one. I'm a motivational speaker. But when it comes to church things, I just want to focus me on church and all of those things. And then when I go to those other places, I can talk about those things. And I've been invited sometimes to go talk about other things that are not related to, you know, church things or God and stuff. And but you know only god can give us the grace to be able to dissect and find that balance anyway so he is the lord of the empire of love and he wants his servants dressed in a uniform of joy not about the dress okay let me not make like it's about dress yes but you want to look good for god right then the most important dress should be uniform of joy look you receive people right like yesterday I, I saw my pastor just seeing her on the altar. I don't need to go to her altar. I don't need to. I just see and then I see the countenance and I'm I'm glad. Because, you know, they say we shall rejoice uh, uh, to go to the house of the Lord. You don't want to go to the house of the Lord. I know you are met by some servants of God who is looking. You are sick, stay home, for example. <laughs> but you need to be dressed in the uniform of joy. I cannot come online and I'm like this every day you know i know people will watch and people will be like oh, what are you trying to transfer to us there are sadness keep keep your your gloom away you know now that times when i am really you know going through stuff and i'm focused on that you know i pray about that i cry about that sometimes i share sometimes i don't share but at these times morning devotion time and service in church service in the community all of those things no I really try to always be dressed with a uniform of joy. Amen. The angels of God serve him with songs, not with groans. A murmur or a sigh will be a sign of mutiny in their ranks. Those people don't joke. Angels don't joke. You see the way they appeared to sing for, sing for Jesus in the sky and got the shepherds to kind of wrap up their sheep very fast and go there. Eh? So if angels can be praising God, why not me? Angels are praising God. Hallelujah. Why can't I praise Him too? Amen. Amen. Angels are praising God. Oh. Hallelujah. Why can't I praise Him too? Amen. Amen. Angels are praising God. Oh. Hallelujah. Why can't I praise Him too? Amen. Amen. See, 
sing amen, amen. Rejoice, amen, amen. Glory be to God, amen, amen. Obedience that is not voluntary is disobedience. My papa said, my papa said, my papa said, are you doing it obediently? Are you voluntarily doing it? Are you freely doing it? Or because you are afraid that he will chastise you, excommunicate you, he will. All of those things mean what? <laughs> God is the one that can excommunicate me and I'll be bothered to. If I go into a church and they say, go out, don't come again. Hey, the one will dust my feet and go. I've been even out for three years and God was still blessing me and he was still talking to me and he was still, I was growing spiritually. So what I know is that it has to be freely, freely. That is why I can leave my house and go to a church that takes me about 300 pounds to go there, 300 pounds to come back. Whereas there are churches here because I am, I love where I'm going to and God sent me there. So yes, I'm happy to go there and serve my God there. Obedience that is not voluntary is disobedience. Don't fool yourself. For the Lord looks at their hearts. That is 1 Samuel 16 verse 7. That is something that Samuel learned. God told him when he went to anoint David, the, the next king. And he was looking at all the brothers, handsome, tall, very strong. Very... 16 year old David who was there in the mountain taking care of his sheep what did david know was he considered it was the first of all his family was the least his tribe was the least he himself was the last coco so go to the bush and take care of sheep that is the one that god saw god saw his heart only the way he was taking care of the sheep now god knew that hey even my people david will lay down his life for my people because david was not afraid to fight lion and bear for his sheep Ah, David. No doubt God said he was a man after his heart. He's part of his shenanigans. God still. Okay. He's, if he sees that we serve him from force or duty and not because we love him, he will reject our offering. My gratitude will not cease. Your praise will always be on my lips. My offering Offering will not end. Your praises I will sing all my days. So thank you, Jesus. I say, oh, I say, oh, I am grateful, Jesus. I say, oh, I say, oh, for your goodness, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Me and gratitude, don't be today, start. And the more I learn, about ways to be grateful to God, the more I express them, and the more I'm favored, the more I'm blessed, the more I do those things. Doesn't matter what man thinks, oh, I did to do a more, I exaggerate and stuff. As long as it is received, ah, Papa, thank you. It's only out of the abundance of my heart, though. The love I have for you too much, oh, I just want to share it with everybody. You know, starting right from my home, of course. So, service coupled with cheerfulness is service from the heart and is therefore true service. Take away joyful willingness from the Christian and you have removed the test of his sincerity. Yeah. Yeah, you grudgingly sweep, you wake up, you have to, I have to do this at 5 a.m. I'm, I'm groaning, ah, I still want to sleep, ah, this thing, and I have to do it every day and stuff like that. And then maybe you have to, you know, get up at midnight and pray. There was a time when I was in a church and they were like, you you have to form groups to be praying at midnight. I didn't know the importance of that. And secondly, I didn't want to. That time my sleep was still so important because of my mental health. I knew that it's good for me to sleep at least. And I, I did not have a good sleep. So four hours, you know, straight. If I, if I interrupt it to go back to sleep, it would be difficult. But now it is possible all by the grace of God. So at that time, I did not participate. I did not even start before I stopped. I just said I could it, you know, and I didn't, uh, I'm not be one to do things by force. You know, the one time I was in some church where I was spiritually abused and I would do things by force, it costed me so much. I'm like, Father God, 
let me let it never be my portion let it even pass by my side to the point where i wrote it on a paper and i said that the, i will the next church i go to i will give it to my pastor i'll be like please oh don't take me for granted don't abuse me don't yoke me i don't want it and if they try me i go because me my allegiance is to god not to man okay so if a man is forced to the battle he is no patriot but he who marches into the fight with flashing eyes and beaming face singing it is sweet to die for one's country proves himself to be sincere in his patriotism but that's true if you sign up for the army and you are bitter and all of that no, you are not a patriot you can even go and betray them so at least stay home cheerfulness is the support of our strength yes the joy of the lord is my strength and my own joy of course i pleases him papa there was a small sketch in my church i think it was on uh i don't know if it was on course overnight or on christmas day by the men of the church and there was one pastor who was playing god right and then the different some men were coming and all they were coming to do was complain 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 and god was like out he was even sending by angels saying yeah, dispatch that one another one came complain 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 dispatch that one and then the last one came oh my goodness started by praising god by thanking god la 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 la, la. he did not even say what he wanted to say oh god was like hey 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 how can how can happen to him does he need anything check find out ask him ah, ah, attend to him oh that was beautiful yeah me i know i come before my god with joy thanksgiving first of all there's so much even to be grateful for and secondly i know i'm a mother myself now you come to me you're making a get out but if you come to me mama i just want to be i just want to say thank you my mama i love you okay mama but mama you know they said in school that i will look for that money okay so um in the joy of the lord we are strong yeah nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 joy acts as a remover of difficulties joy is to our service what oil is to the wheels of a railway carriage yes without oil the axle soon grows hot and accidents occur you know transportation uh, lived in the time when there were railway carriages so that's the example it is using and uh, we can talk today about oil in the engine of a car right or fuel in the car without that soon it's going to stop on the road you know stuff like that me i'm i'm so blessed so blessed to the point where i'm like father god making a living out of ministry is not my thing i just thank you for how much you have blessed me super blessed so i i am just saving my god with all my heart not worried about anything because hey god okay and if there is not a holy cheerfulness to oil our wheels our spirit will be clogged with weariness the man who is cheerful in his service for god proves that obedience is his delight he can sing make me to walk in your commands a most delightful road yes i'm cheerful reader do you serve the lord with gladness let us show the people of the world who think our religion is slavery that it is to us a delight and a joy let our gladness proclaim that we serve a good master i serve a living god oh, even the devil knows say not true and that is why he tries to steal your joy kill your joy especially as a servant of god come from east west south da, 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 da. So that once he kills that joy now if you service you are not interested in serving again or you start backing all that and you start you know relying on all kinds of uh, whatever those things how do they call those crazy things jock uttering things and all those things you know and getting involved in all kinds of crazy things just so that you can stay you know you can stay what can i say alert to serve god no that's not serving god though that's saving yourself saving the devil saving mammon using the name of god her time is coming oh so um i wrote it in my journal oh my goodness so 
I just want to read this. Uh, uh, what did I write here? Wrote in church. When I write um, my dreams and goals to focus on in this quarter, I have two books to take off at once. House of Hope and Healing, Project Proposal, Budgeting on Track, Growth in Church. That even comes long before I heard of ministry growth because um, I don't want to ignore the gathering of saints and uh, I'm so grateful for where the Lord has led me to and I know that um, to my church I will save him more and um, yes, it's a beautiful thing to serve the Lord, right? So I want to grow there. I'm not going there to be saved. Okay, I'm going there, yes, to be nourished with the word of God and to worship in fellowship, but and not bad and i am also going there to serve right i don't know uh, when i'm going to be made any leader or any servant or anything but you don't need title i don't need all of those things in my only two way i'm doing what i'm doing there and it's already received and so i'm good I, i'm so grateful to god and that is how you grow a baby does not just start walking like that you cree the baby creeps or the baby is, you know takes a step back falls and does all of those things and then one day that baby is as big as all my babies here. So I'm very um, just grateful. And I'm staying positive and godly. Those are things that I wrote there. Uh, growth in church again. There it is. Where again is there growth in church? Everywhere there's growth in church. Just to share this to say that... Um, Yes, I am more than a conqueror in Christ, right? So, I am not doing this to please anybody. I'm doing this because the Lord has done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. And so, when he called me in 2019, he said, okay, I want you to start this ministry. Uh, Papa, what's the name of this ministry? Love and Healing Ministry, right? I wrote down. I'm like, hey, Papa, hey, Papa, 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 Papa. <laughs> so, in 2020... Papa got me to one minute. In 2020, Papa got me to write a book. This is the book. The title of the book is No More Playing Russia Roulette with God. <laughs> I always think about this book and I laugh because it's a contract, actually. I did not know that I was writing my own contract. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, one of the titles here is, um, um, I am not bargaining with God again. Because I've been doing this before, so I had to write it again. Okay, oh, that's chapter 10. Okay. And chapter 12, my books have been 12 chapters. God, oh. Chapter 12, I am ready. I mean that, oh. I took my hand and I wrote, okay, fine. So that was in 2020. Now, 2021, I continue, I dilly dally and stuff. God is just watching me. Then November, the biggest shock, boom. I saw it, I'm, I'm balling. Are you ready now? I say, yes, Papa, yes, Papa, yes, Papa. Okay, so this is what you will do. And then gradually, he keeps telling me what I should be doing. And I'm doing it joyfully. Oh my goodness, I'm so grateful. So, Papa, thank you so much for everything. You are such an awesome God. I, uh, I have so many books I'm reading. You know, me, I love books. So, there is this one, Women and the Ministry of the World. When I will finish reading it, I'm almost finished. I would uh, do a review when God will say, okay, you can go and do a review. The Keys to Greatness. It's all by my pastor, Pastor Harrietta B.C. A grateful heart is the beginning of success. That is it, though. These are some other books. You know me, uh, I love books. So if you want to offer me anything, you can offer me money, offer me books. <laughs> okay, so um, please, if you are a woman, let me wrap up with this. Do not hold back that the Bible says, or people are saying that women should not preach in church. Or people, look, women, that time has passed now, so I don't even know why we'll go back through that. But I'm going to just share it, you know, because not necessarily for me. There might be some other sister who will need that to propel herself, you know, to start doing what the 
the Lord has called her to do. When they say women cannot be pastor, but women can be evangelist, women can be preacher, women can be even in the house, women can do all of that. All those women in the Bible, they, even the Apostle Paul himself, he had women he was working with. So who knows the context in which he was writing that particular part that people, some people take and dramatize all over the place. And if it's just about title, like, okay, keep the title now. Let me continue serving my God. But why not? If I'm called to be a pastor tomorrow, I will take the title. Anyone I will take. Me, I'm not into dynamics and gymnastics. I've been saying that over and over again. So please, oh, if the Lord is calling you, do not delay, oh. Come without delay, without delay. Come without delay, without delay. Come without delay, without delay. Look, please, oh, please, people. And today, we have this possibility of serving God in all kinds of ways, reaching the millions. That great commission that way is as it is much easier with social media than it was years ago. I'm talking like this. My page, some people might think it's small, but for me it's big. I have 224 followers on this Facebook page. I have how many hundred and something on YouTube. I have another hundred and something on Instagram. I have another hundred and something on TikTok. Put all of those. If I had a physical church, all of those people, where I go start? So I'm just so grateful, right? So don't, don't hold yourself back. If you have been feeling this call in your heart to serve God, start. I did not start like this. Oh. I did not even start with ring light. I did not start. No, but I started. Because ah, I put my hand on the planner and I said, I'm bad. I was like, my God deserves it. You have been running your mouth too much for the world. You've been dancing for the world. You've been going up and down. Now it's Papa's time. Papa's time, no pulling around, no joking, no compromising, no all of those things. Ah, yeah. Okay. Papa, thank you so much for this morning. Thank you all for this beautiful word. It was such an encouraging word. Yes, word for myself and for all your servants and for all the people you have given me in this tribe, Papa. It's all about love and healing. It's all about coming to you with it all, just as we are, and allowing you to renew our minds to the point where our lives are so transformed and that when people will see this, they would believe in the good works of our Lord Jesus. No, Papa. Of course, Christianity is not slavery. It's not boring. Papa, I thank you for using me. Oh, my goodness. Because I know that many people see me and people are like, look at how Mark's life is lovely. Mark, somebody already told me anyway that they want to have this kind of relationship with you too. Are they willing to put in that work? Surrender it all to you? Papa, only you alone knows. So you know our hearts now, Papa. But I'm just so grateful that you are doing this in and through me, Papa. I give you all the glory for that. And I pray for this day in particular that people who serve you would really serve you with joy and with gladness and will also come to you, come to your throne with any issues, any headache, anything that impedes their service to you. And that all those who sometimes judge people who serve God, uh -huh, who stop, oh, who stop, because it's not also easy. It's not an easy road. And we are all traveling to heaven. So let's show each other more love, more compassion, more grace, and of course show ourselves that too. It is in the mighty and precious and blessed name of Jesus, and I pray this morning, amen. Yes, tribe, morning devotion was slightly longer than usual because this is the first day of the week and I just love this. And it's so encouraging. So I just really wanted to just go all out. My God deserves it. You deserve it. You deserve it. My hallelujah belongs to you, my papa. Hallelujah belongs to my papa. Okay, so morning devotion is five days a week by Grace, 4 a.m. GMT. Me, I am live. As my mama said yesterday, if you care, you leave the church. Me, I will not stop preaching. Whether one person joins me live or nobody joins me live, or whatever who views or who doesn't view, I'm putting it out there. You never know. I'm studying a chapter a day of last year. I met Princess Clinton this year. 
So I'm catching up from last year's only in the morning and in the evening. I'm following up what she's doing now. And it has been blessing me. If she had not done all of what she did last year, what would I have, what would I have been catching up on this year? I would have been like, okay, so you just never know what you put out there and for who you are doing all of that and stuff like that. And of course, you yourself, you grow through it all. So be encouraged. See you tomorrow morning by grace. God bless us all. I am Minister Mark. Yes, that is me. I say it. I'm grateful. Papa, thank you for choosing me.